welcome back to the channel my name is nicole if you don't know me and i create a lot of korean skincare and skincare education based videos so if you're interested in that you can definitely subscribe and keep watching this video because today we're going to be talking about a new korean skincare line that i have discovered within the last six months and it is Celepi and today we're going to be talking about a couple of their products that they sent over to me that are for red sensitive and especially dry skin so just stay with me to learn more also with all of these products all of the links will be down below for purchase if you are interested so the first product I have here is the Celepi Atto Repair Cream for excessively sensitive baby skin. So it's not for babies per se, but it is for those of you who have very, very sensitive skin. This formulation is fragrance free if that is of concern to you. And this cream is mainly for people who want to reduce dry, flaky skin and experience a lot of redness and irritation. I myself experience a lot of eczema breakouts Breakouts. I don't necessarily deal with them at the moment, but I tend to have very red skin or irritated skin and this cream has definitely been an interesting component and a helpful component as well when I've incorporated it into my routine. So the first ingredient in here that I want to talk about is shea butter. So shea butter is known for giving a formulation a very emollient consistency. I wouldn't say this is emollient. This is like a milky gel texture. It does have a little bit of viscosity to it, but it's not super thick where it's going to overwhelm and feel occlusive it's still light and breathable. So shea butter, although it does give a thicker consistency, it's also filled with amazing antioxidants and fatty acids to help repair and strengthen the skin. So it really makes a great component for dry skin types who are looking for a hydrating ingredient that will repair their skin barrier. So the next ingredient in here is avocado oil and it's not super super high on that ingredient list so it's not going to be like overwhelming or like sticky on the skin. It's a little bit lower so it's really perfect to still provide those qualities that avocado oil has. Avocado oil contains a rich source of fatty acids that again help to repair the skin barrier and help to maintain moisture within the skin barrier. Avocado oil also helps to prevent water loss by keeping that water locked in and moisture locked into the skin. I want to kind of talk about moisture and holding moisture within the skin. I always talk about strengthening your skin barrier and hydrating and keeping moisture within the skin and I've never really explained too much why that's important. So even for any skin type with any skin concern, having a product that is going to hold and lock moisture into the skin is so important. So when your skin loses moisture from deep within the skin, like it's dehydrated, your skin can be surface level dry, but there's a different type of dryness that you might even feel as an oily skin type where it's dry deep within. So that's dehydration. And when your skin loses moisture from within the layers, then that can cause inflammation. Lack of moisture and inflammation can actually lead to premature aging, wrinkles and fine lines are a result of that lack of moisture within the skin so if that is something that you would like to work on definitely keep hydration in mind and then when you lose moisture and you gain inflammation because of that inflammation will lead to or could lead to acne or just very red and irritated skin so a lot of acne has a main root from irritation and not saying that all acne is like that and that's the that's the cure but it does help to maintain moisture because it removes that inflammation component that could be contributing to your acne breakout so that could be something that could help you in your routine by 
implementing something that's going to lock in and hold moisture. So the last ingredient I want to talk about are peptides. So this moisturizer here contains peptides and peptides are made up of short or long chain amino acids and amino acids are the building blocks of protein and our skin is primarily composed of the protein keratin. So when it comes to peptides, they play a really big role in repairing and strengthening our skin because they contain components that are naturally part of our skin. Personally, I do not have any concerns about this product and, and in terms of who I believe this product is for, I would say it's for people who have very dry, flaky skin and very irritated skin as well. Like I had said before, I do think that this might be a little bit too thick for oily skin types. It is a gel formulation, so it is a bit more lightweight and breathable, but it still has a viscosity to it that makes it a bit creamier and thicker on the skin. So I think that it could be a little bit overwhelming, but it's still worth a shot. But I do think that dry skin and combination skin types might better be suited for the texture of this product. But either way, all skin types, all people can benefit from a product that will hold and lock in moisture within the skin. So for me, I found this to be super hydrating and amazing for my skin. I like to use it in the morning and at night because it was still a breathable formulation. So my skin didn't feel overwhelmed when I did use it. So product number two is the Celepi All-in-One Sika Cream. This one is probably the most unique one I would say out of all of the products I have here because it gives you this really, really cooling feeling. It's not like a burning or a minty sense at all. It's not sensitizing. It's not irritating. It's just cooling and calming. I've never really tried a product that is very um, cold or cooling on the skin before, but I'm really happy that this was the first one that I was able to try. It was really helpful for my skin, especially when it was just pretty irritated. And this is also a really great morning moisturizer because it's super lightweight. If you have acne prone or oily skin, I'm going to say that this is probably the moisturizer for you. You. The first ingredient I want to talk about here is polyglycerin 3 and polyglycerin 3 is a humectant and hydrating ingredient. Basically what I mean by humectant is that it holds on to moisture deep within the layers of the skin. Similar to something like a hyaluronic acid, it can really penetrate deep within the skin and hold on to moisture. If you've ever heard of hyaluronic acid, hyaluronic acid does the very same thing. It is also humectant. It's just really good at holding on to moisture within the layers of the skin. So it's great for dehydrated skin as well as dry skin. So it really gets that surface level and then that deeper dryness. Another thing about polyglycerin 3 is that it contains a larger molecular size, meaning that it's bigger and when it sinks into the skin, it goes at a slower rate because of its size. So it provides longer lasting moisture. So if you're someone like me and you just always have dry skin throughout the day, no matter what you really put on your skin, something like this with that type of molecular size to help with the longer duration of moisture will really help with your dry skin. The next ingredient in this product that I want to talk about is tea tree oil. And I've talked about tea tree oil a lot. I really enjoy tea tree oil because it's great for red and inflammated skin. Skin, especially acne prone skin there is a certain concentration that is needed of tea tree oil to actually help out with acne I'm not exactly sure how much tea tree oil is in here but it still is a good ingredient for inflammation and redness and reducing that so the last ingredient I want to talk about and something that's really interesting and in here is the red Sika complex so I'm kind of going to be reading all the ingredients that are incorporated in the red Sika complex so there is centella asiatica, matacasicide, matacasic acid, asiatic acid, and asiaticoside. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's how you pronounce it, right? So all of these ingredients are really great for repairing the skin barrier, reducing inflammation and redness, helping to calm really sensitive skin, repairing the barrier with amino acids, 
really helping to strengthen it and brightening the skin as well. So in terms of concerns, I would not necessarily say I have real concerns because I didn't feel any irritation and the ingredient list to me looked fine and actually it looked really helpful for inflammated and sensitive skin. But I would say that this does contain a little bit of some natural fragrances. So if you are sensitive to that and you know that you're really sensitive, then you might just want to keep that in mind. In terms of who this product is for, I would say that this product is really good for acne prone and oily skin. Not saying that dry skin can't use this or even combination skin. I just think that it's more of a lightweight moisturizer for dry skin. For me, since I have like very, very dry skin, I like to use this in the morning. I would say that it is more on the side for oily skin or acne prone skin because of its consistency and texture. It is so soothing though. It has this amazing cooling sensation that makes it a very unique formulation to me. I really think that I would really love to see someone who has very irritated skin in terms of acne and see how that Red Sika Complex and all of that Centella Asiatica and Madagascar how that helps with their inflammation and redness. I really think that this would be a good try to see if that actually really helps to reduce that and gives you that nice cooling sensation along the way, you know? So the next product I have is something I've been really pumped to talk about because I believe that this is an amazing dupe for an SK2 essence. So I have tried the SK2 Patera essence before and I really enjoy it. I think that if you really want to invest in that, it is a really great thing to jump into. But if you are looking for something that is more affordable for your budget, I do think that this Celipi cell treatment essence is the way to go. It is only $44 and it has a very nice velvety finish on the skin. It's hydrating and it really gives you that glow. I use this at night when I really want to wake up with hydrated skin. Of course, I always want to wake up with hydrated skin, but I am trying out like different products all of the time. So when I really know that I just I need to wake up in the morning and I really want that hydration, I pat this on my skin because I know that I am guaranteed to wake up with that hydration and that glow that I am looking for. In terms of ingredients, this essence is fragrance free if that is of concern to you and the first ingredient that it is based with is Saccharomyces ferment filtrate. This is a humectant and moisturizing ingredient that you get from fermenting yeast. So Saccharomyces ferment filtrate is filled with amino acids and beta-glucan. Beta-glucan is a really great ingredient for reducing the signs of redness and just the natural signs of sensitive skin like inflammation. The Saccharomyces ferment filtrate can also play a role in wrinkle repair if that is something you are interested in. It also can play a role in reducing the appearance of hyperpigmentation and brightening the skin. So the next ingredient I'm going to talk about is the second ingredient on the list and it is Glacotomyces ferment filtrate. The reason why that this ingredient matters so much in this formulation is because it really explains why I thought this was such a great dupe for the SK2 essence because Glacotomyces ferment filtrate is technically Patera which is the ingredient that SK2 uses in their products, basically all of their products, right? And especially their essence. SK2 uses Patera in their formulations because of the sake brewers in Japan who had really youthful and glowing skin even though they did have more mature skin everywhere else on their body. And that was basically due to that Glacotomyces ferment filtrate. So if that gives you any idea of what this ingredient can do in terms of brightening and really making your skin glow, I really think that is why my skin just glows and is super hydrated in the morning is because of that Glacotomyces Ferment Filtrate. The last ingredient I want to talk about is the good old niacinamide or vitamin B3. Niacinamide is a really great ingredient for acne prone skin and mature skin. It's really good for strengthening that skin barrier. Even out an uneven skin tone. It also has shown signs of brightening the skin and helping to lessen the appearance of damage from 
UV light like the sun. Another good thing about niacinamide is that in the presence of sunlight, it actually doesn't break down or degrade. And that is a really common thing for brightening ingredients to do is in the presence of light, it degrades. And that happens with vitamin C. You can see that it oxidizes really quickly when you keep it out in the presence of sun and in a hot area. So personally, I did not have any concerns about this product. It is fragrance free if that is of concern to you. I really like how it's really packed with a lot of fermented ingredients. It's really great for just plumping the skin and making it glow. I personally think Essence is a very versatile ingredient amongst different skin types, but for concerns, I would say that it is great for those of you who have maybe duller or an uneven skin tone and want to brighten your skin. Personally, I don't think that this will brighten your skin in terms of like if you have an acne scar or just a very, you know, pronounced dark spot. I do think that those types of dark spots and scarring would take a more honed in approach like a vitamin C serum, but I do think that this is a good choice if you want to just visibly improve the plumpness and radiance of your skin. So I have extremely dry skin. My skin is desert dry, it soaks up anything that it can get its hands on, you know? And I really find that when I use this at night and I incorporate it with my Iunic Snail Serum, it gives my skin an amazing glow. I can always expect to wake up in the morning with hydrated skin, which is something that I haven't been able to do for a while. Personally, I think I found my like holy grail combo right there. All right guys, thanks so much for watching. Make sure that you watch the two videos in the end screen here and bye.